ChatGPT has such a conversational tone that you can easily get lost in hours of asking it questions and reading back its answers. One can't help but think about what it would be like if this language model had a body. Well, I think it's safe to say that ChatGPT is off to see the wizard, and the wizard is Norway's Omex Technologies. They received $23.5 million from OpenAI to build the official OpenAI robot. The robot is called Neo and will explore how artificial intelligence can take form in a human-like body, opening the way for AGI. This thing is set to launch in the summer of 2023. Onex Technology and OpenAI Goldman Sachs says that the humanoid robot will be the next widely adopted device after the smartphone, and we're about to experience just that on this episode of AI Focus. Let's dive into the way OpenAI hopes to further change the world by building the smartest and most useful robot the planet has ever seen. At the end of the video, I'll reveal what goal OpenAI hopes to achieve with this development. Onex Technology Background Okay, so who is Onex Technology? And why did OpenAI choose them? Onex Technology is a Norway-based engineering and robotics firm that specializes in crafting androids that exhibit human-like motions and conduct. The company was established in 2014 as a robotics and electric motor company, and they quickly pivoted into humanoid robots. Their name changes to Onex, according to them, reflects the fact that their models move at Onex speed and don't have to slow down to move like other androids. Their mission now is to craft practical, real-world robots that can enhance and supplement human labor worldwide. Even Neo, the robots of Onex technology. But what makes this robot so special? The humanoid robot has been around for decades, but creating genuinely useful ones has proven difficult. That's where OpenAI's large language model's ability to control drones and ChatGPT comes in. In a recent paper called Robotics, Microsoft researchers outlined the process for applying ChatGPT to robotic tasks using various prompting techniques. This allows researchers to translate simple English commands into code. We can get an idea of how these groundbreaking techniques might influence the look and function of these robots by referring to previous models. The company has created a robot called Eve, which put One X on the map back when the company was known as Volumi Robotics. The robot goes for $150,000 and has an autonomous guardian feature, thanks to their partnership with ADT. Eve was initially a patrol guard for office buildings, and it would scan IDs, perform facial recognition, move packages, and the like. Here, you see the robot performing an everyday task in the kitchen, and it already looks like one of the best robots on the market. Imagine this thing with GPT-4 inside of it. GPT-4 will allow the robot to look at its surroundings and decipher pretty much everything around it, thanks to its multimodal capabilities. Thanks to OpenAI's funding, EVE will become widely available in the US and Norway. However, the robot was designed to operate semi-autonomously, using a control center operator that remotely manages multiple interconnected robots. It's also on a wheel base, which limits the number of human tasks it can take over. This is why One X is now working on a bike robot named Neo that will explore how I can take form in a human-like body. Comparison to other robots I think it's important to point out why OpenAI's Neo robot would be such a game-changer, and what better way than comparing it to the most impressive robots right now? Boston Dynamics Robot First, there's the terrifying Boston Dynamics Robot. This thing is extremely agile, can do backflips, and can perform tasks. But the catch is that in order to do this, the robot has to be trained on that certain task specifically many different times. Elon's Optimus Bot Next, we have Elon's Optimus Bot, which the Neobot looks pretty similar to. Elon has said that the AI used in cars is the same AI that powers the robots, and this robot can perform tasks after being told or shown what to do. This is a step above the heavy training that goes into Boston Dynamics robots, and from the looks of it, could still be a step below the agility of Neo. If you have to program the Neo robot, you should be able to instruct it in simple things by showing visually what the robot needs to do or just telling it what to do, which you can think of as a significant advancement in robotic capabilities. Google's Large Language Model Powered Robot There's also Google's robot, powered by its large language model. This robot doesn't have to be trained on tasks repeatedly to be functional. It can complete tasks even if it's interrupted, 
and uses its language model to identify objects around it. It's similar to what the Neo robot would be, but it's not bipedal and doesn't look half as cool. The Game Changing Potential of Neo If successful, OpenAI will change the game with its humanoid robot, making it agile like Boston Dynamics and way smarter than the Google robot. Its multimodal capabilities will allow it to know what's in the fridge, search for recipes on the internet, and cook something for you. It'll change home life for everyone who has one and ideally make life much easier for the owner. Partnerships and Future Developments There are four companies partnered with Norway's Omenex Technologies, OpenAI ADT, the security company, Tiger Global, the investment firm, and NVIDIA, the company that creates high-end GPUs. But this isn't the first time OpenAI has invested in robotics. They trade a robotic hand to solve a Rubik's Cube in 2019 but got rid of their robotics team in 2021. Building robots involves having massive computing power, and that's the reason OpenAI went to 1x with backing from Microsoft. Through this new investment, OpenAI will aim to figure out how to tweak a language model to interact with humanoid robots effectively. Conclusion and OpenAI's end goal And they're right on time, because expectations are for the humanoid robotics market to hit $150 billion by 2035. The investment will go into building the Neo robot and scaling the manufacturing of the EVE robot in Norway and North America. Once EVE is out, the next plan is to study the challenges and opportunities the robotics community has yet to address, and my guess is that what they learn will be applied to the Neo robot. OpenEye will soon have the biggest and smartest language model ready to go, with likely the most agile robot on the market. And now, as promised, we dive into OpenEye's end goal in all of this. We should know that OpenEye really wants to achieve AGI with its new robot. You may know that AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence, the point where a machine can learn or understand any task a human can. The question heating up the AI world is, does AGI require physical form in order to occur? Would a robot with physical senses and an ability to interact with the world be the tipping point for artificial general intelligence? Some people say no, but neither side has enough evidence to prove it one way or the other right now. I think it's evident that we'll find out very soon. The race for AGI The race for AGI has multiple players in the field, including tech giants like Google, Tesla, and Boston Dynamics. As they all compete to create the ultimate ad-powered robot, they are pushing the boundaries of what artificial intelligence can do. As a result, the race for AGI is not only about who can create the most advanced humanoid robot, but also about who can make significant advancements in AI research and development. Possible Impacts of AGI The impact of AGI on society will be tremendous. It could potentially automate most jobs, revolutionize industries, and lead to new breakthroughs in science and technology. However, it also raises ethical concerns about the role of robots in society, the potential loss of jobs, and how to ensure that AGI is used responsibly. Preparing for a future with AGI As we move closer to the development of AGI, it is essential for society to consider the implications and prepare for a future where robots and AI play a more significant role in our lives. This involves creating policies and guidelines to govern the use of AGI, investing in education to help people adapt to a rapidly changing job market, and fostering an open dialogue about the ethical concerns surrounding AI and robotics. Conclusion In conclusion, OpenAI's ambitious project to develop NEO, a humanoid robot with AGI capabilities, could revolutionize the world of AI and robotics. The potential for AGI to transform various aspects of our lives is immense, but it also raises essential questions about the future of work, ethical considerations, and how we can ensure the responsible use of such advanced technology. As we eagerly anticipate the unveiling of NEO and its impact on AI research, it's crucial for society to prepare for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead in the age of artificial general intelligence.